good afternoon. Uh, today's Wednesday, August 5th-ish. I don't know what day it is. 4th, 5th, 6th, I don't know, whatever. Uh, it's Nomad Fisherman. Headed to the Great Salt Plains Spillway. Uh, spillway flows uh, below the Great Salt Plains Lake into the Salt Fork of the Arkansas River. Uh, this is actually be the third day this week that I've fished there. Uh, and I just haven't had any luck, hadn't done any luck. I've caught a few fish, uh, but unfortunately, the camera was overheated for most of those. A couple of them I actually got on video as far as after I caught them, but again, uh, you know, I think the excitement is uh, reeling them in. So uh, I didn't make any videos. Uh, yesterday I fished there for a little while and just got skunked. Uh, so that doesn't make a very good video. So giving it one more shot uh, again this this lake is probably or this spillway and then there's no probably about it uh, there's nowhere I've ever fished more than I fished at this spillway so I want to give it one more shot and uh, see if I can catch a couple fish maybe on on camera and um, I'll be heading back to Kentucky in two days so my hope is that uh, I can get a a decent little video out of this lake so either way you guys uh stick with me and you know fingers crossed uh, we'll have a video uh, come out of this so, all right catch you later we got south today last two days I fished here it's been out of the north. Let's go over here and see if we can catch the bait. Well, right, let's see if we can catch us some shad. in the shed. I'll leave that carp in there for now just in case we can't catch anything else. I can cut it up and use it as cut bait. It'll be good for that. Or bigger than what I'd like it to be, but it's all right. Beggars can't be choosers. Here's just some shad, all little bitty, but. That's all we can catch, and that's all we can catch. We'll use it and just have to put multiple on a hook. I do have to put a warning out there. There were bait harmed in the making of this video. So uh, I'm not gonna throw this out there super far. Uh, in fact, Looking to where they're at, I think our best bet is going to be. Let's actually throw this one short. Perfect. Uh, that one's on there. All right, and through the magic of television, the bait is all cut up. We're going to send way out here. These guys are fishing deep. Probably out into this area here. I don't know if you guys can see. You see their lines up here. There's three or four poles up here on the wall. And they're fishing out, I would say, about a good third of the way, a quarter to a third of the way across. So we want to focus just right out here in front. 
I'm gonna send this out there and catch us a whopper. This one. All right, here we go. We got a shad on here, a little flip bobber. This could be fun. All right, so we just moved the poles over, uh, or well, one pole over. So this one's got uh, a shad halved on it, put both halves on it. Um, I'm just cast over here in the shallow water. Uh, I've caught blues over here, caught some uh, decent channel cats over here. Um, there's a, uh, you know, they, they just patrol this area here. So I have caught some decent ones. They're not, my all my big ones have always come from right out there by those you see four vents in the in the uh, falls just on this side of those four vents is where i've caught all the big ones here but you know i've caught some eight and ten and twelve pounders from this area right here so uh, i think the biggest one i've caught on this half was about 25 pounds and uh, i may attach a picture of, uh, of it it was a long time ago it was a uh, Labor Day weekend, I would say 2005. Uh, it was around 25 pounds, 20, 25 pounds, somewhere in there. I didn't have a scale with me, uh, but it was a good fish nonetheless. fish on. I don't think it's very big. At least it's not acting big yet. Hanging like a channel cat. Yeah. Big old head on it. Just got him whisker hooked. Well, uh, so I didn't get the video of me actually releasing that fish. Uh, I got a picture of it before I released it. Forgot to turn the camera back on, so uh, my bad. I'm about to get spooled. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> Fish on.
Big carp. Big carp. The video is brought to you by Mandarin Oranges. They're like oranges, only smaller. Also brought to you by Coke, Coca-Cola, zero sugar. It's like regular Coca-Cola. <sighs> With zero sugar. All right, so Nomad Fisherman here. Uh, once again, uh, fish today at Great Salt Plains Spillway. Feeds into the Salt Fork of the Arkansas River. Uh, it's a place I've fished hundreds of times uh, through, through my youth and through school. Uh, and honestly, this week was the first time I fished here since 2011. And uh, back around that time, there was a fish kill here. And I mean, it killed, I, I don't know what percentage of it was, but uh, I, I would say high 90s, high 90s percentage of uh, uh, fish life uh, it was uh, horrific so came here with hopes of uh, putting, uh, bringing some fish in uh, I, I did accomplish that uh, I didn't, didn't catch any flathead which is really what I was trying to target but I did bring some channel cats in uh, about three of them but uh, today I only caught one so I will, uh, I'll put it on the video. Had a couple other good takes. I had a very big carp on and then, uh, not my ultra light rod that I had cast out. Uh, I have no idea what was on there, but it basically spooled me. Uh, there was no slowing it down. It's still going. Uh, but, uh, either way, had a good time. Uh, hope, hopefully you guys did too. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, please put in the comments. Uh, you know, there's certain kind of videos you guys would like to see me do, whether it's kayak fishing, uh, you know, whether it's spillway fishing, or lake fishing, pond fishing, anything like that, uh, comment as well. So I've got some plans coming up as far as uh, ideas of where I want to fish and uh, what kind of fish I want to target. So should be some new stuff coming. Uh, hopefully. Uh, Hopefully we can get on some fish, and uh, certainly better than we did today. But either way, I had a good time, and uh, anytime you can take a trip down memory lane and catch some fish, it's not a bad day. So, again, like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much, and good luck out there.